This is going to be a very quick video, but we're going to talk about where to place the script tag. It, of course, has a reference to our JavaScript file. Now, throughout the series, of course, we've been placing it in the head section. And it didn't really matter because we're just learning JavaScript. But for production, it does matter where you actually place this tag. And the reason we didn't talk about it earlier is because we didn't really know what the document object model was. But now that we do know what the document object model is, we need to talk about where we really should put this script tag. Now, I'll give you a little bit of history. The recommendation used to be to actually put it in the head section. So you can actually put it there but it's not recommended and here's the reason think about this for a second the browser actually has to download these files when it's going to render the web page and remember the browser will work in a top-down order so he'll hit this head section and then he actually has to stop and download this JavaScript file now it looks pretty seamless to us but there actually is a little bit of overhead added when we have this script tag right here and then it'll have to download the style sheet and then it'll go ahead and render our entire web page and most of that is in the body section. Now think about this for a second. Why would we put the script tag up here when this whole document has to be loaded? Remember, JavaScript operates against the document object model. So it hasn't even been loaded yet. So why would we load the JavaScript file here when it comes after the fact? So it makes sense to put this down in the body tag because we want the entire page rendered first before any JavaScript code gets executed. Now, obviously, we want the style sheet loaded and the HTML loaded first, so the style sheet will stay here. So let's go ahead and move this script tag, and you'll see that it doesn't change anything. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this. So we'll get rid of this, and we'll go right down here. And this is the recommendation. You put it right before the closing body tag. So we'll put it right there, and it's not going to affect anything. So keep in mind that our entire web page will be loaded first, and then it will go ahead and download the JavaScript file. By this point, we don't really care, right? Because our page now has been loaded. And so we don't care about the little overhead added to download this file. And this will also ensure that the document has been created before any of our scripts, our JavaScript, gets executed. So that's really where you want to put it. So let's go ahead and we'll save this. And we'll go ahead and execute this now, just to make sure that everything's working. And of course, this is the same code from the last video. So let's go ahead and put in two or three characters here. Now we should be stopped, right? And we are. And so we know our JavaScript is working. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.